not be controlled. When you look back at the people of Israel, they had a holiday as well. It was called the Passover. If you have your Bibles, turn to Exodus chapter 12. No less significant than the power of the 4th of July was the power of the Passover for the people of Israel. Last week we talked about the plagues of Egypt. Ten plagues that fell on Egypt that decimated that country to nothing. Ten plagues that fell and a pharaoh, the king, who kept saying, Uh, no. I'm, I got it figured out. I don't need God. Ten times that Pharaoh rose up in defiance and would not let God's people go. Talked about it last week. Ten times that God went up systematically against the gods of Pharaoh and said the things that you trust in, the things that you depend on, aren't worth diddling. There's nothing. Ten times God said, I'm it. Take it or leave it. Ten times God showed Israel that he was the strong one. And ten times Pharaoh rose up and said, Hmm, maybe not. I can deal with this one on my own. Thank you very much. And then comes that fateful night, that last night. We talked last week about it from the perspective of Pharaoh. I want to look at it from the perspective of the Hebrew people. We first started this series, we talked about what happened when Moses came down and said, God's called me, we're getting out of here. And the people were like, woohoo, we're with him, we're out of here. And they waltzed into Pharaoh and said, yeah, we're leaving. And Pharaoh went, no you're not. And they went, oh, oh man. And left discouraged. And then Pharaoh said, fine, you want to do play these kind of games? You're lazy, you're bored, you're, you're not working hard enough. Make your bricks without straw, you slaves. Go find your own straw. We're not going to provide it any longer. And suddenly the people realized, oh my word, we're slaves. Remember when we talked about God sometimes turns up the heat on us because we get pretty comfortable in our slavery. We get pretty comfortable saying, eh. I'm here, whatever. And God, who has greater plans for our life, says, all right, fine, let's let some stuff get really uncomfortable so you realize the effect of what your choices really are. They've come to the end of that journey. They've come to the end of this journey, and God appoints, chapter 12, the book of Exodus, starting in verse 1. While the Israelites were still in the land of Egypt, the Lord gave the following instructions to Moses and Aaron. From now on, this month will be the first month of the year for you. This is 4th of July, New Year's, all of it rolled into one. Announce to the whole community of Israel that on the 10th day of this month, each family must choose a lamb or a young goat for a sacrifice. One animal for each household. If a family is too small, eat a whole animal. Let them share with another family in the neighborhood. Divide the animal according to the size of each family and how much they can eat. The animal you select must be one year old male, either a sheep or a goat with no defects. Take a lamb. Why? Because that's what happened this night. Moses has walked into Pharaoh and said, Look, your firstborn son and the firstborn son of everyone in the land, the firstborn child of the livestock, they're all going to die. Tonight at midnight, they are going to die. Everything will be destroyed. And that night, turn over to verse 21 of chapter 12. Book of Exodus, the second book of the Bible. He comes back and he says, Then Moses called the elders of Israel together and said to them, Go, pick out a lamb or a young goat for each of your families and slaughter the Passover animal. Drain the blood in a little basin. Take a bunch of hyssop branches and dip it in the blood. Brush the hyssop across the top and the sides of the door frames of your houses. And no one may go out through the door until morning. For the Lord will pass through the land to strike down the Egyptians. But when he sees the blood on the top and the side of your door frame, the Lord will pass over your home. He will not permit his death angel to enter the house and strike you down. 